is going on guys and welcome back to another video so this is another John boat update so I've been working on this John boat for the past few weeks I've been screwing down everything been carpeting everything I've been painting everything installing casting decks and floors trolling motors and uh, we're finally to the point where I need to start building the back deck so I have been stuck on the back deck design for the past three days, probably even four or five days. I just cannot come up with a design. I've been Googling images, watching YouTube videos, trying to see what everyone else did. I spent the last four days inside on the notepad, drawing up boat designs, drawing up the back compartment. I got on my computer, opened up paint, drew up perfect little images of the John boat, where the batteries are going to sit, where the gas tank is going to sit, and I cannot design a freaking back deck around what I want to do. I have been struggling. What the hell? I was inside for like 30 minutes. Okay, maybe an hour, but still. I just filmed that intro sitting right there and a storm has already come in. You gotta love Texas Panhandle weather. It'll change on you in a heartbeat. Well, my plan was to work on this John boat today. But uh, I guess we're figuring out how well this boat cover works today. <laughs> Hopefully it can hold up to some rain. Well, this sucks. <laughs> there goes my plans of work on the back deck. Like I said, guys, I cannot progress on this back deck no matter what. But I'm trying, dang it. I guess that gives me one more day to truly plan it out or truly try to plan it out. But we'll see. I still want to get the back battery level so that's what we're gonna do so I made a quick easy cheap update to my batteries I went out and bought nylon lock-on nuts and that way these things don't vibrate off while I'm driving the boat. All right, that mod was easy. <laughs> so we just got a new dishwasher in the house and I saw this piece of folded metal. Uh, it says, it's talking about a dishwasher right there. So I'm assuming that's from a dishwasher. But it was all folded up, kind of like a half square. And I'm just kind of going ahead and beating it flat. I'm going to get this as flat as I can. And then I'm going to fold it just right to where this piece of metal will be used on my John boat for my bilge pump. And I was actually kind of worried or wondering how I was going to do this. And this kind of just fell right into place. So this already has two holes in it so I mean I'm gonna have to fold it just right but where these two holes are is going to sit right on top of this and then I will use self tapping screws to screw that into there and then I will attach the base of the bilge pump on that so it'll be kind of like that I will screw that into this plate right there and then I will fold this the right amount and then that will be how I attach my bilge pump. So that is the game plan. That's awesome. Yeah, that was just sitting like right there by my water. And I uh, picked it up. I was like, hey, check that out. Saw the holes. I was like, you know what? That will be perfect. And it's going to work out perfect. So <laughs> I'm just kind of beating it flat now. And then I'm going to have to refold it at the right spot so it sits flat on the bottom of the boat. All right, now we have a flat piece of metal. So I just made a little mark on where this bend needs to be and look how close it was to that factory bend. If that bend was a quarter inch up, this thing would have been perfect without me having to do anything besides cut the end off, of course, but it was so close to being perfect. I'm trying to bend it. Some freaking strong metal. I don't know what it is, but it is strong. How thin it is. Jesus. Ugh, come on. 
So I kind of just assumed that this would work for the bilge pump, but I've never actually opened this up to see how it looks. So let's open her up and make sure that fits. It should fit. So I got a 1100 gallon per hour bilge pump. This thing will pump out water in no time. Oh yeah, okay, this is gonna be perfect. So we have three slots right here for a screw. Hopefully, let me make sure. I'm not putting an automatic switch on mine, by the way. I'm just gonna have a, a manual switch. Well, the instruction shows tapping screws, but I don't see those. I guess I need to get those myself. Anyways, this should work. The bilge pump is small enough. So basically what I want to do is screw this base onto this little platform here. So it will look something like that. And that will hold the bilge pump. The bilge pump won't be able to move. It won't be able to float out. And it'll be able to suck out water at a pretty good rate. So I have a few more adjustments on this metal plate, but I think that is pretty awesome that I just found that on the ground and it's gonna work out freaking perfect. So I'm happy I came up with this bracket or stumbled across this bracket. <laughs> I was not planning to do this today, but hey, we got it. We got her in. All right, so this is where we're at. I got the bracket in place and the bilge pump is sitting on top of the bracket. So I was gonna cut off an inch off of this bracket on this backside, but I was looking at it and this exit point right here is exactly flush with the top of the bracket. And I have to add a hose around that as well. So to make room for the hose, the hose is gonna go out and then straight up and straight out the back of the boat. So to make room for that, I'm gonna back it up just a hair exactly where it's sitting and that will give the hose space to come up a little bit and uh, not hit that bracket so what that means is instead of cutting off an inch off the back of this bracket all I have to do now is just grind off that little flap right there and then we will be good to go but also so that has a hangover right there and I do not want to reach down and cut my hand on that so I'm going to trace around this bracket with a marker, draw some lines, and then cut off that piece that sticks out. I got that tab grinded off. Now I need to get the cutting wheel out to cut out this square. That ought to do. And it has a cutting wheel. Sweet. Alright. I would love to have advice right now. But I don't. I have an idea. An idea that just might work. Alright, so I got the metal plate screwed to the wood. And I'm going to step on this and cut out that piece of square. Once again, don't question the method. Got my safety glasses. You know, I actually graduated a welding school, so... I know all about grinder safety. <laughs> Haven't used this grinder in about five years or so though, so we'll see what happens. Look at that, perfection. All right, let's go grind down the edges. I am sanding the metal, getting the surface roughed up, and also getting off most of the sticker that was on the back. All right, so here is the custom plate I made for my bilge pump. That was a pretty random project too. I just found this on the ground and I was like, hey, I could probably use that to, for my bilge pump. Uh, pretty random, I did not plan on doing this today, but uh, hey, we did it. So I'm gonna go test fit this one more time, see how these edges lay up against the John boat. All right, so I got the, the base of the bilge pump where I want it, and now I'm gonna go through and mark some holes where those three slots are. Pilot 
actually really strong. Holy crap. I'm surprised. I may have to cut these screws in half because they're a little long. We'll find that right now. All right, so I will have to grind down these screws because they're too long and it hits the bottom of this and it doesn't latch on. So let's take these back out, grind them down a little bit, and then it should work out just fine. So I got the bilge pump all screwed on and it is not going anywhere. It is very solid. Unfortunately, there is screws on the bottom now that will make it have a gap, but let's see how big of a gap. Still not bad. I'm okay with that. Okay, so I'm happy with how that sits. I got a self-tapping screw. I'm gonna go ahead and screw that on. Okay, the hole is drilled. Now I can undo all of this and then paint this bracket red to match the boat. All right, so the paint has dried. Before it gets dark, let's go ahead and put this thing all back together and then bolt it down into the John boat. All right, that's pretty solid. Now we just need to drop in the bilge pump. And there she is. All right, so there is my bracket. You can barely even see it. It blends in perfectly. Man, how perfect is that? Of course, I still need to run the plumbing at the top, but uh, I will do that tomorrow. The plumbing kit that I bought does not fit this bilge pump, which kind of sucks. All right guys, it is the next day. So we got the bilge pump here, and I just went to the store and picked up this hose. I got two and a half feet, I got extra just to make sure. And I also picked up this little bracket here. So that is just gonna get screwed on to the transom just like that. And then I will cut off the end of this hose and then that will pump all the water out straight out the back of the boat. I thought I was going to install this today but I don't know where exactly the exit point is going to be because I'm building the deck. So, what I'm going to do today is not install that. I'm going to paint the bracket. I'll probably paint that hose red as well. I don't know how well that will hold, but uh, I'm going to do it just to see. So that is what I'm going to end this video with, just painting this stuff. Just so it's not sticking out so much. Alright guys, so I got the most important thing installed on my John boat, and that is the bilge pump. Circuit breakers are pretty important too. You don't want to have a fire, but you also don't want to sink. So I think bilge pumps take the number one spot for most important. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.